Good evening, everyone, and uh, thank you very much to the organizers for providing this event tonight. I think it's going to be very informative, and I'm glad to see that, um, once again, it's a full house, and it's, um, I'm very happy to see everybody here. Uh, I am Anita Scoblin, and I am running for re-election for ACW Township Council. I was first elected in 2018, four years ago, and uh, i tell you a little bit about myself if you don't already know me. Um, I'm originally from the Chatham-Kent area. I, when I was born, uh, we lived in the family homestead that my dad was uh, raised in, um, in Dover Township. Later I moved to Tunstall on a farm, and then I spent most of my time in Chatham, but I did still help out on the, my dad's farm here and there. Mostly cooking, I'm afraid. <laughs> I have a business background and I've owned and operated two businesses in Chatham-Kent and uh, later on in Strathroy. I was able to sell both of my businesses um, uh, about seven or eight years ago. Um, I know the people ahead of me have all been married a long time. I feel like I've been married longer than seven <laughs> years, but I have been married seven years to my husband, Mike. And together we uh, share a blended family of four children and eight grandchildren. I have an extensive political experience of 32 years in total. I was 28 years as, the, as a school board trustee for St. Clair Catholic District School Board, serving as chair and vice chair several times, as well as my four years on ACW. And for many years I served as a director on various boards and tribunals, uh, namely the John Kent uh, Hydro Board, the Middlesex Power Distribution Board, as well as the Employment Insurance Tribunal. And my community involvement um, back in Chatham was with the uh, Chamber of Commerce and the past president and BIA. I've also um, been quite involved uh, since becoming a counselor for ACW on various committees, um, including the Joint um, Recreation Board, as well as the Joint Fire Board and Injury Prevention. And I've enjoyed working uh, on those um, committees and the challenges they present. Since moving to Heron County, um, I've had many opportunities through my role on council to become involved in the community, and I'm grateful that the folks here have adopted me. And on the speaking points that we were given, I will touch on Port Albert, Cox's and vision for the future. I'll skip over the airport because I think it's been covered quite extensively, and as Roger said, it's an unresolved issue at this point. So Port Albert Master Plan. As many of you know, um, I like John Cash, and I've um, been everywhere man across this township. And I've talked to many, many residents around the township. And I've touched all four corners of the township at this point. And I have assured the residents that I've talked to that my high priority for this term is managed, sustainable, responsible growth. It's my belief that you deserve a council that will make responsible decisions based on sound research and evidence. It's my belief that you, you deserve a council that will work as a team to make responsible decisions. And I believe you deserve a council that will ensure that residents are provided transparency in how decisions are made. Integrity has always been the backbone of my political career and it still remains so. I'm not an expert in land use development by any means. I don't know about drains and what kind of asphalt you put on a road and I don't know about septic tanks and all of that stuff. But what I do, I do well and I listen. I listen, I ask questions, I ask a lot of questions. I research, I talk to staff, consultants, and I respond to residents not just on the Port Albert issue, but on every issue. If you know me, you know I ask questions and I seek answers. Truthfully though, on the Port Albert situation, you've heard it already, and I'm sorry I have to say this, but there's two things for certain. The master plan needs to be done, and it's not going to get any more affordable if it's delayed any further. But having said that, the residents, if you choose to vote for me, can rely on my sense of fairness and fiscal responsibility to address the master plan and ensure that it will be sustainable in the long run. On the topic of taxes, tax rates, as you heard, are um, the lowest in Huron County. 
And it is also, the to debt is the highest in growth and assessment. And taxes are set annually to meet the budget needs. But you deserve a council that will strike the balance, that understands fiscal responsibility. You also deserve a council that has a basic understanding of how business operates, understands budgets, and knows how to read a budget sheet. I'm hopeful that you will see that my business background and my past experiences, not only with ACW Council, but in my previous board experience, have prepared me to understand all that is needed to know around budgets and taxes. So my vision for the future, I go back to the official plan, because to me the official plan is, it forms the basis of any municipality. And an excerpt from the official plan is this, to promote a healthy, prosperous, and vital community that encourages development and growth. So how do we do that? Over and over and over again, I've said it. Managed, responsible, sustainable growth. We need a team, a council that has vision, and has a commitment to work as a team, and can make informed decisions. A priority for me is to ensure that the managed growth through land use development is optimized. And growth should be coordinated, and we need to meet the growing needs in the community. We also have to keep an eye on maintaining and supporting agriculture, because to date, the thriving agriculture base, and this is taken from the official plan, 90% of the township is classified as prime land, class one, two, and three. ACW residents deserve a council who will ensure and that we don't compromise this valuable asset. And that circles back to my priority of managed growth. But other things we need to keep mindful of is infrastructure, roads, bridges, culverts, essential services like police and fire, and the environment. So in my conversation with residents that I've traveled for months now, dirt roads, paved roads, all kinds of roads, hills, <coughs> valleys, the desire from the people that I've heard is they want better communication to the residents. And Jennifer touched on this. I think we can do better with our communications. We do have social media, but we can do better. They want a desire to bring in natural gas. They want a desire for better internet connectivity. And they want fairness and achieved in all aspects. I believe I have a lot to offer. I believe I have an understanding of the residents. And I believe I have the diverse nature. Of, I understand the diverse nature of the township. I'll do my homework. I'll continue to ask questions. And I'll engage in meaningful and respectful dialogue. Thanks very much.